Hello guys, welcome to my channel Python AD Care. Today I have brought another interesting session which is on uh, fetching the record of data from a CSV file to a Tkinter window. So if you have seen my previous video where I have created the same script for fetching the data from an Excel file to a Tkinter widget. So based on the multiple requests, uh, so where people are asking like how to create, how to extract the data from a CSV file. So I'm creating this uh, script or I'm creating this video for the same. And uh, if you see, if you need any help, you can always uh, get back to me at my email address that is trafficjavet2 at their gmail.com. So basically uh, for uh, extracting data from, X from the CSV file, you need to import two more modules that is pandas and the CSV file. CSV. So the structure is same for creating the Tkinter widget. Uh, if you go to my uh, vid previous video, you will see all the structures that I have uh, uh, explained very deeply. And if you are looking for the script, then you can go to my blog, and you can go to my blog and get copy the script from there. So my blog uh, uh, link will be available in the description. So here, uh, this video is only for how to uh, interact a CSV file with it. <coughs> so normally if I run the script, if you see, this is the Tkinter window and if I go here, this is my backend data dot CSV file. So this is how my uh, record are, uh, records are stored in a, in a CSV format. So let me close it and let me go to the script. So let me run the let me run any one program say 101. So it gave me the user details. If I did 100, it gave me the user. Okay. So let me go to the script. The script is very simple. So in the submit function, the change is only in the submit function. So def submit. Uh, if you go down, uh, this is uh, df equal to pd pandas pd dot read csv that particular backend underscore data dot csv. Then we'll get the row count, how many total row counts are available. That is a row underscore count is a variable. Equal to df, uh, what is the variable we have defined to open the CSV or to read the CSV, df dot shape of zero, the first index. So it will get me the count of uh, how many data are available in the first row itself, first column itself. So based on it will print the row count. And then with open now next is like with open backend and underscore data dot csv as a file variable csv underscore read equal to csv that module that we have uh, imported csv dot reader that's the file whatever the file we have opened csv file df equal to we are just converting that csv file into a data frame format so df equal to pd dot data frame csv underscore read and index we should not need any index so normally by default it will take index as a 0 1 2 3 in the first column so with this uh, we are just disabling that index is equal to none so print df so we need not need this this is just for validation purpose now first is like we are just uh, taking up this like we are just assigning a variable n as a value one so while n is less than or equal to row count so we know the total row count is some five to six row counts are available and we need not need the first header file so n equal to 1 so it will start from the second row and n equal to n less than equal to row count for val in list dfn so for value in list dfn so df in the list format if int val 0 equal to equal to int such uh, means if int val 0 means the first column item if you see the first column item is the employee id first column it uh, column item is the employee id and uh, if that is equal to the such employee ID category criteria, such employee ID means the first column that we have here, the first uh, thing we have over here is the employee ID. If whatever we are typing here is matching with this, then whatever we are typing here and searching is matching with this, then the corresponding items will get populated over to the respective fields. So the name dot insert we are just uh, inserting the values. So name dot insert 
0 uh, to val 1 so name is we are inserting the value 1 similarly value 2 value 4 value 5 and value 6 and then we are again disabling the tick enter edit fields and n plus 1 so we are incrementing it so this is very simple uh, hope you have understood this uh, part if not uh, you can always reach out to me at my email address that is sarafikjab at gmail.com and if you have liked my video please press like button and for more videos please do subscribe my channel thank you for watching